today on Another World. Sandy, my son is in there. I gotta get him out. It was the last thing I do. Look, you're in no shape to lift this stuff. Why don't you just give it a rest, Mr. Corey? Come on. No. Hey, come on. Haven't you ever heard of that, that 60s saying, make love, not war? Yes, I've heard it. Well? Well, what? Come on, we're wasting a lot of time. No. I don't want you to think I'm easy. And then I heard Jordan say, where did you plant the bomb? And then this other guy said to him, there's one planted at the printing shop, and there's another one planted at the dock loading area. And then the guy said, and I put one more bomb for good measure in Matt Corey's office. Listen, with your help, we can nail Jordan Scott for good. Who's going to believe a hooker from Vegas? And now, the continuing story of another world. what you're up against with Jordan Scott. No, maybe I don't. I'm expecting the worst. Oh, Pat? Yes, it's me, Philip. Listen, Pat. No, I'm fine. L listen, I I've been trying to get in touch with Mac. Have you heard from him? Yeah, I know it was pretty serious. And we just have to be grateful that nobody was hurt by me. Uh, look, about... You haven't heard from him? No, I've called all over. No one seems to... Look, do you have any idea what Jamie could be? I've called the penthouse every half hour, and nobody seems to be picking up there. Oh, I didn't think of that. Do you have the number up there at the cabin? Yeah, no, I've got one. Right, I've got... Uh, Pat, thank you. No, really, I promise I'll get to you as soon as I hear from you. Thanks. I'll keep on back. Sit down and take it easy. Now, neither one of us can get through that door, so the best thing to do is just preserve your strength. I can't like just it. stand out here doing nothing. He may be in there. I don't know what shape he's in. I got to get to him. All right, I'm sorry. Whoa. I didn't mean to tell you what to do, but, Mr. Corey, look, you don't look so good right now. All right. I feel fine, Sammy. Don't worry about me. I'm sorry if I yell at you. That's no, okay. I understand. Listen, Mr. Corey, you think you'd be all right if I left you here by yourself for a little while? Sure. Well, what are you going to do? Well, I feel like I've got to try and find a way out of this place. Well, even if they're running, don't try the elevators. After those explosions, no, no, they can be I'm, dangerous. No, I'm going to try and go down the stairs. And, and don't go in a stairway if it's full of fumes and smoke, just if the doors are closed, because it could be very dangerous. All right, what's the, uh, what's the closest staircase to where we are right now? down the hall. First trans, uh, transection, turn left, and then it's your first right. It's the only way down out of this wing. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't go down there. It's awfully dark. We don't know what damage has been done. It could be real dangerous. Yeah, well, uh, I won't go too far. If it looks too bad, I'll, I'll come right back and we'll just wait until somebody comes to help us. awful long time. Don't you think they should have been here by now? Yeah, well, all the more reason to scout out the situation. Look, if we're going to get any help up here for you and Jane, it looks like I'm just going to have to go and get it. Sacred chamber. 
Well, I don't use it very much, so it's kind of sterile. It's not very conducive. Yeah, the room doesn't matter. It's what the people do in the room that's important. Right? Yeah. I guess so. Cold? Yeah, a little. I think I can fix that. Really? Yeah. Just give me some time. I'll remove all doubt. Come here. Hey. Hey, what is this? What's the matter? This coin number you're pulling. I thought you wanted this, too. Oh. Uh, did you think I was being coy? I mean, I'm sorry. Never mind, I guess it's just something on something else. You're not worried about that sick friend of yours, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I was. But not anymore. You're much more important to me than a sick friend, Jason. Not trying to back out on me, are you? Hey, Back out on you. You, the devastatingly sexy Jason Dunlap. <laughs> You're gonna be kidding. Come on. Well, then let's close this gap between us. Yeah. Just wait one second, okay? Don't keep me waiting long, okay? Oh, I, I just want to make the place a little more inviting. Something to work towards. With you, baby, the effort will be a pleasure. Oh. Mm. Hey, you know, you know what I like best about you? What? Mm. Your eyes. You have the most. Sensational bedroom eyes. Yeah. 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 Sensitive. Clarice, you're going to an awful lot of trouble for me. Nothing that I want, don't want to do. Yeah, well, thanks, but I don't want to be in the way. You're not in the way. 
Believe me, Jerry, I'd tell you if you were. No, you wouldn't. You're much too nice a person. I like having you here, Jerry. I'm not so lonesome when I come home from work. Yeah, well, I'm afraid that might be coming to an end soon. What do you mean? Well, I may be going back to work. Well, isn't that awfully soon? Well, it wouldn't be full-time yet, but Brian is really overworked, and I could start out by helping him part-time with some breeze. Are you sure that Brian approves of that? I don't think he wants you to go to work too soon. Well, he doesn't have much choice. He's got some kind of a convention to go to in Ogden next week, and somebody's going to have to watch the office. And I think it would be a pretty good way to start easing back into things, well, and even if it was just for a couple of day, uh, hours a day. Well, I don't know if that's a wise idea. It's been such a short time. What's time got to do with it? I mean, I'm healing fast. Even Dr. Matthews is amazed at the progress I'm making. Jerry, you just had major surgery. You worry too much. All that's really wrong with me is I still get a little tired too fast. Well, that's because you're not able to do any exercise yet, so that means that you're not really up to it. Hello? Who is it, Ada? Ada, what's the matter? You sound upset. I am. Have you heard the news? No. Well, there's been an explosion at, at Corey Publishing. An explosion? Yeah, and, and I can't find Mac or Jamie. Uh, nobody answers the phone anywhere. Ada, you want me to come over there? Well, no, you don't have okay, to. Okay, I'm coming, okay? I'll be right there. Bye. What's going on? There's been an explosion at Court Publishing. I would guess it was an accident or something. Another accident, huh? Yeah, I think I'm going to run over to Ada's for a little while. Will you be all right? Yeah, sure. Could you please keep an ear to uh, Corey's door? Yeah, yeah sure. Okay. I heard it on the radio, and I still haven't been able to reach Jamie. And what about Mac? Did you hear from him? No, I can't find him either. What's going on? Where is everybody? No, I'm all alone here. I can't reach him. Cecile, just calm down. I'm sure that Mac and Jamie are going to be okay. Why didn't they call me? Why didn't they call? They must know how worried I am. Cecile, they've got a lot of important things to do. Can't you understand that? I'm sure somebody's going to get in touch with you as soon as they're What about me? Down. Why don't they even, don't they even care a bit how I feel? Cecile, it's obvious there's been a lot of damage at the complex. I don't know, maybe they're taking stock. Just relax for a minute. I, well, listen, you know, Jamie could have called me. He knows I'm up here all alone and I don't even have a car. Wait, I should Cecile, be there Cecile, with him. Cecile, all right? What if I come up there and I get you? Would that make you feel better? Oh, Philip, you would do that for me? Oh, that's very thoughtful. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I'll never forget it. Never. Okay, then I'll be up there right away. <clears throat> now, you just stay calm. And I'm sure you're going to hear from Jamie and Mac as soon as they can. Doors open. Hey, you up for a beer? Well, I kind of thought champagne would be nice. Sally. Hi. What are you doing here? You, you, aren't you glad to see me? Yeah. You don't look like it. Well, I'm, I'm a little surprised to see you. Why? I told you I wanted to come to Montreal. Yeah, but I thought we decided that you were going to stay home this trip. Changed my mind. Sally, your mom is going to come unglued. Better. You don't mind? It's her problem, not mine. Besides, I wanted to be with you. Yeah, well, she's not going to like it. No, but I will. Man, you always get what you want, don't you? Sometimes. Look, how could I pass up a romantic trip? Do have a way with words. <sighs> I'm happy that you're here. You don't sound happy. I am. I have a feeling that um, you wish I hadn't come. No. It's okay. What's wrong? Like I said, I'm surprised to see you. I mean, you were supposed to stay home. I Oh, why didn't you? Let me worry about it, okay? I mean, so what? My mother, what can she do? I'm 18. I don't know what she can do, but I don't think we need that kind of a hassle. You are worse than my mother. Don't I at least get a welcome to Montreal kiss? It's the least I can do.
Jason, there's something I have to take care of at the connection. Sorry to run out on you like this, but I'll be back soon. Maybe even before you get a chance to read this. Fresh coffee ready to go in the pot. Just flip the switch. See you later. Love, Melissa. Jamie, you've got to be all right. Please be all right, Jamie. Jamie, just hold on. We're going to get in and get you. We'll be in soon, Jamie. Just hold on. to lift this stuff. Why don't you just give it a rest, Mr. Corey? Were you able to contact anybody? I made it down a few floors, but the smoke was too thick. some security and cleaning people shaken up, but nobody was hurt. Explosions, huh? Yeah, that's what they said. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, if you're thinking Jordan Scott, then we're in tune. Yeah, we're in tune, all right. But somebody had to set those bombs up, right? And you and I both know it wasn't Jordan Scott by himself. So if we can get the guy who did it, we'll get him to talk. Well, we better get to him before Jordan Scott finds out we're looking for him and gets to him first. something about the way we're feeling. Uh, you should change your tune fast, didn't you? Yeah, well, when someone's got a better idea, I'm a sucker for it. Uh-huh. You got any more suggestions? I sure do. <coughs> what was that for? That was for putting up resistance in the first place. Hey, hey, don't hit me anymore, Scarlet. You hear? Harvest said I was sorry. Prove it. Isn't that what you want? No way. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, you are going to have to come again. What? Uh-huh. You're kidding. No. Nope. Okay. I'll get you. <laughs> come on. No. Hey, come on. Haven't you ever heard of that, that 60 saying, make love, not Yes, I've heard it. Well? Well, what? Come on. We're wasting a lot of time. No. I don't want you to think I'm easy. <laughs> you? Easy? A chance. <laughs> no, no, I bet. It's so funny. I would never think that, honest. Really? Mm-hmm. Really. You promise? I promise. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I said I heard. Who's that, your coach? No, no, that's Bo 
Bozo. Bozo? He's a clown? He tries to be, but he doesn't quite make it. Yeah, especially when he's holding the clock. <laughs> is that this guy's real name, Bozo? Nope. That's a relief. No, his real name is Edgar. Edgar? Yeah, you can't call him a hockey player, Edgar. Why? Because it'd be stupid. <laughs> Bozo isn't? Well, he's a, he's a real dedicated hockey player. Wait, what are you doing? You're not actually going to go, are you? You heard the man, didn't you? I've only got ten minutes. Nine minutes now. Well, you can't leave me here all by myself. I just got here. Oh, my God, I'm sorry, huh? What can I do? Stay with me. That's what you could do. What does it matter if you make miss one stupid practice? No, no, no. I can't miss a practice. I'll be back in a couple hours. I didn't come all the way up to Montreal to sit in a stupid hotel room. Hey, now, wait a minute, Sally. I can't miss that practice, all right? I can't. exactly what I'm afraid of. Do you, do you think all of those radio reports are all accurate? Melissa, well, why wouldn't they be? Because sometimes they withhold information because they want to notify the next of kin first. No, no, not in a case like this. They, they said no one was hurt. I don't know. I just wish that there was some way that we could check on this. Well, so do I. Right now, I just can't think of anyone to call. What about Larry? I think Larry might know something. Oh, we have some friends over at the police station. I'm sure they can give us some information. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, but wait, 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 wait. Before you do that, just whatever you tell him, don't tell him anything that I told you, okay? Melissa, don't worry. I'll think up a story, okay? Yeah. And while you're cooking that one, you better try working up another one. What do you mean? Another story to tell Jordan Scott. <laughs> to close up the place. He'll be here as soon as he's done. It seems like hours since we called him. Joey, Joey, I know something has happened to him now, too. Blaine, calm down. I we eat so... Shh. I'll get no, it. No, I got it. I got it. Who is it? Me. Let me in. Here you go. Glad you're here. Come on. Oh, 
The Wire of the Mystery. You heard about the bombing? You mean Corey Publishing? Yeah, I heard. Melissa doesn't believe that no one was injured, and she was wondering if the media is withholding any information at all. They could be. I don't think they are. Why would you think that? It's more a hunch than anything else. Why do I get the feeling that you know something more important than you're telling me? All right, look. Whatever I'm going to tell you goes no further than this room, okay? I had to go over to talk to Jordan this afternoon. I was about to knock when I heard that he was in there with somebody. So I was going to turn around and go away. And then I heard Jordan say, where did you plant the bomb? And then this other guy said to him, there's one planted at the printing shop, and there's another one planted at the dock loading area. And then the guy said, and I put one more bomb for good measure in Matt Corey's office. Matt Corey's office? Why? Yeah, I don't know. He said it was a logical place. And the only thing that I didn't know was what time it's set to go off. Have you told anybody else what you heard? Only Sandy. And he called Jamie to warn him, but we couldn't get any answers. So he, he decided he was going to run right over there to warn Jamie and get any people out just in case what I heard was true. And you haven't heard from him since? Nothing. Well, how long ago was this? I don't know. I really don't know what the time was, and that's why I'm so worried. Because he might have been in that building when the bomb went off. Melissa, could you swear this is exactly what you heard? Yeah, it all happened exactly like I'm telling you. What about this guy? You said you recognized his voice, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. I was trying to figure out where I knew him from, but it was just around, you know, here, there. You I... know his name? No. I mean, that's easy to find out. But you could point him out if you saw him. Why? We take all this information right to the police. We'll finally link Jordan Scott to all these goings on. No way. Besides, wouldn't it be better if we just get that other guy? I mean, he could provide us with all the details and then he can pin it on Jordan. Okay, look, it's gonna help to get the guy, but it's not gonna No get... way! And besides, who'd believe me anyway? Nobody. I mean, let's face it, let's be realistic about this, okay? Who's gonna believe a hooker from Vegas? She's right, you know, she's got a point. Yeah, and besides, even if they did believe me, how long do you think I'd have if Jordan knew that I was running to the police with some damaging information on him? Melissa, we're going to lock up Jordan for good. Oh, yeah, right. Then all we got left is Jess Cooper and Ilsa Fredericks and that whole army of followers there to finish the job off on me. No, thank you. Okay, all right, you guys, I, I agree with you. Can we please just find Sandy and let this all wait until we realize he's okay, okay? What about you, Blaine? Don't you have to get back to Jordan? She's not going back to Jordan. No? No, never. serious? Are you sure? Yeah. No, I'm just a little tired, that's all. You had me worried for a minute. Well, in that case, why don't you get ready and let's go out. Go out? Mm-hmm. I thought we'd go somewhere romantic and, and dark oh, and cozy. Hey, hey. But I don't think so. Why? I don't have the energy. Besides, I couldn't if I wanted to. You don't want to go out with me? No, it's got nothing to do with you. We got a big important game tomorrow. I gotta be rested and fresh. So what are we gonna do? Just sit around this hotel room all night? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't know how much longer I can sit. Right now I just feel like crashing. Oh. What about me? What about you? Well, what am I supposed to do all night? Watch you sleep? You mean you wouldn't get a charge out of that? <laughs> Very funny. Oh, hey, Sally. <laughs> Look, I, I really wish things were different. That's the way it is, you yeah, know? Yeah, I guess so. You understand? Yeah, I do. Hey, look, look, maybe 
Maybe tomorrow after the game. You're asking me to sit around here another whole day while you play your stupid hockey game? Uh, you know, is that all you have time for in your life? It is a big part of my life, Oh, I know. Sally. Tell me about it. Hey, look, you know what it means to me to make the 84 Olympic team, don't you? I've never made that secret. Yeah, but uh, you got to have some fun, too, Lee. Yeah, well, there isn't a whole lot of time for that. I mean, hockey's a big commitment in time and energy. Well, what about me? I mean, don't I deserve any time with you at all? Sally, you're an important part of my life. But right yeah, now... But not as important as making that team, right? Well, let me put it this way. I'm not about to go blow my chances for playing on this team or, or jeopardizing my whole career. Not, not for some, some silly night out on the town, no! Can't change your mind? Oh, no. No. It's tempting, but no. I've invested too much time and energy, Sally. I, I just can't go, go throwing it away. If uh, those are your priorities, fine. They are. That's why I came to Montreal, Sally, Look, to there's, play hockey. There's no more explanation needed. I understand, Lee. Somehow I'm not sure you do. Oh, I do. I understand that I'm not as important as that hockey team or your hockey stick. Hey, where are you going? Oh. Don't be silly. Come over here. Why? All you're going to want to do is go to sleep early. And what's wrong with that? What you want? Only I'll be on the plane home. I really wish you'd stay. Yeah, well, look, Lee, I, I think it's pretty clear what's uh, important to you. And you just live with that. Maybe someone else can use the champagne. See the captain and see what he can do about it. Because I don't have any more here, all right? All right you take care of it, because i got to stay here. Hey, Rick. Larry. How's he going out here? Uh, we don't really know anything yet. Why? I thought everybody was out of the building. We think everybody is out. But as I said, we can't, we can't be sure of anything at this point. So why you guys are still out here? Yeah. The bomb squad is making an office-to-office search just to make sure that nothing's been overlooked. We're out here for them as much as for anybody else. Why, you think there's any danger? Well, and we're not sure about anything, right? Nobody's sure about anything right now. The bombs aren't our only concern right now. The, the building may go any minute. What do you mean? I mean that they, they, they suspect a gas leak up there. Oh, man, I can't believe this is happening. You're telling me. Hey, hey, you're not here on official business, are you? No, look, I'm not on the police force anymore, remember? I don't know why I can't get that through my head, Mary. Thank you. Larry, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to step behind the ropes if you don't have any official business around here, all right? I understand. I just want to check on something now. Where's Mac and Jamie? I haven't seen them. What about Sandy Alexander? I don't know. I haven't seen anybody. All I know is they brought some cleaning people and, and two security people down earlier, and they were nowhere near where the blasts occurred. Nobody's even been where the bombs went off? I, I can't know until some of the guys come down. Look, as far as I know, Jamie and Mac and Sandy were nowhere near when this thing happened. Yeah, well, I wish I could just convince myself of that. Well, I wish I could do something to ease your mind. Wait a minute. Is, is there any concrete thing that you can give me that you suspect those guys are in there? Look, I'm just saying this. I've checked out every place it possibly could be. Nobody has seen or heard from Jamie, Mac, or Sandy. Doesn't that sound strange to you? You mean since the explosion, no one's seen or heard from any of them? That's exactly what I'm saying. So if they're in the building, they're probably trapped right now. All right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I'm going to get in touch with the rescue squad, and I'll tell them what, exactly what you just told me, all right? We're going to step up the security. All right. Be right there. I'll be right back. I wish somebody would call and let us know what's going on. Well, it's so on. strange that Mac or Jamie haven't called. I mean, they must have hoped this they This whole thing is strange. Why doesn't somebody call us? Cecile, come on in. Where's Jake? Is he with you? Have you heard from him? Oh, 
No. I, I haven't heard from anybody. I thought that you would know something. I, 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 can't, I can't stand that somebody's got to know what's going on. Well, you don't know where Jamie is? No, that's why I came back to the city. Back to the city? Yeah, I've been locked up in that cabin that Matt gave us for a wedding present. And I haven't been able to get in touch with anybody. I haven't had a car. I thought I was just going to go out How'd and How'd you get here? Philip came out there and picked me up. Oh, that was nice of him. Well, yeah, it was. Except I still can't find either Jamie or Matt. Well, have you been looking for them? I've been driving in cabs all around this city. Nobody knows where they are. Well, did you try the penthouse? I've been calling there all evening. That was the first place I went when I got back. And he wasn't there? No. Not only was he not there, but it looked like he hadn't been there for days. Ada, I don't know what's going on. I am as much in the dark as you are. Now, we got to try to think of where Jamie could be. Well, that's all I've done. I've been racking my brain. Okay. All I know is that yesterday, he said that he'd be back at the cottage early this evening. Well, I waited, and I waited, and he never showed up. Well, could you have passed him on, on your way here? I suppose so, but I don't think that's true. Ada, I don't think they ever left Bay City. I'm afraid that... Well, maybe he's with Mac. Maybe they're at the complex. I mean, maybe they're all mixed up with those people because they're trying to find out how much damage was done. No, I don't think so. I called them. Nobody knows where they are. What are we going to do? I don't know. Now, just let me think for a minute. This is like one of these mine cave-ins that you... Disasters that you read about. It's like we're just sitting here waiting for bad news. Will you stop it, Clarice? Just stop it. Now, that would be too horrible. You can't even think about that. If they were in that building in there, what had happened? I don't know. Cecile, <laughs> sit down. No, and they calm can't down. The pump. Now, we have got to think of what we're going to do, and we can't do it if you're going to get hysterical. Now, put yourself together. I'm trying. I really am. It's just that I'm so afraid. Stop that. thinking the worst. Okay. I'm just worried. I'm worried, too. Jamie is my grandson. Well, I know, and I'm sorry. Oh, it's just that, that he should have called. You know, none of this makes any sense. He just forgot. That's all. No, I don't think that's it, Ada. Cecile. So I don't know what I'm going to do if something's happened to Jamie. Nothing is going to happen to him. Oh, thank God. He's alive. Help me get this stuff off. Take it real easy now. Hey, I got it. Be careful now. is erratic. But I don't think he's seriously injured. Check his legs. Yes. Well, they don't seem to be broken. Listen, Mr. Corey, I think I'm going to try and find a way out of this place and get some help back up here. All right. All right, Sandy, I guess you're right. Look, if you can get down to the third floor, there's a, there's a diagram. It's a kind of a, a floor plan. It's got the emergency exit spotted on it. But I do think I ought to be the one to go because I know the no, building. No, 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 Mr. Correa. I'll go. Why don't you stay here with your son? Listen, if I can just find that third floor diagram, I'll get us out of here.
Join us each weekday at this time for the continuing story of another world.